Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Um, I figured you might know about this because you're into the into this. Oh Jesus! What? How is this going to be derogatory? No, it's about video games. Oh okay. All right. So I, I saw they have a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game that's kind of like yeah. Dead by Daylight, and okay. I was curious what you what you want what you had to say about it. Oh, what do you think? Well, how do you think I know anything about this game? Because you are scared of Dead by Daylight, but yeah. you like it, and I figure this is something else, and you like horror, but you're afraid of it. All right, I want you to give me the over-under on how many hours of this game do you think I've watched at this mm, point? I'd say... Knowing knowing me. The over-under, 30. 30 hours? 30 hours? That's <laughs> insulting. That is truly <laughs> insulting. You, no, I, every watched, time you're like a game, you're like, yeah, I watched about 70 hours of this. I mean, yeah, but it just came out. Um, I've watched maybe three hours of this game. Um, I've seen some low some low gameplay. I've seen some very high rank games, some high but gameplay is it like, of it. But is it essentially Dead by Daylight ripoff? It is very much like Dead by Daylight. So there is a queue for killer. And there's a queue for uh, Survivor. I think they call it some victim. I think they call it in this game. Um, the queue for killer, you get to be either Leatherface or you can be uh, other members of the family. And they're just kind of like uh, like guys who just kind of like roam looking for the victims to kill them. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a whole mechanic with the grandfather. And he um, just kind of like sits in a central position. And... The killers are trying to feed the grandpa, the grandpa because he's hungry, and the victims are trying to, they'll try to stab grandpa and make it so that he can't expose their location. Um, it's a lot like Dead by Daylight, and it feels like you're running away from the killer. Uh, you're essentially trying to like escape the basement by unlocking doors and there's like a gaming mechanic with that um, There's certain resources that you need to pick locks that you can get from like a toolbox or like a pile of bones to make knives to uh, defend yourself Okay, so yeah, yeah, I watched like a minute or like a few minutes of gameplay. Mm -hmm. It looks scary It like does. dead by daylight scary like you turn the corner and you're like, oh my god and it he's, does. Like, and he's like right behind you again. It does. It looks a little scary. Um, it it, it kind of comes down to map knowledge because I think there's only the one map right now, and I think the uh, I think the uh, the the beta is going to be ending tomorrow. Actually, oh oh, it's only out on a beta. I thought yeah. the game was out. Yeah, I think I think it's on a beta. I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but yeah, it did. It looked like fun. Um, this video by the time this video comes out, it'll probably already make its rounds on the on the internet. But yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. It looked like a good game, so I'll be, I'll be uh, excited to see what what they bring out with like the full release because I've only seen the one map, so I'm sure when it comes full release that they'll have a a variety, two <laughs> maybe two maps. You're not even wrong, maybe two maps, and that and honestly, I'm gonna have to say it's like. Dead by Daylight is already established. It already has a fan base. It's already been doing like a lot of like that uh that extra action on the side with like uh what do you call that the other IPs that has Rule been before. What's Rule Thirty Four? Nah, yeah. I mean, there's probably some. No, but oh, where they have like where they have like Jason and uh, yeah. and Michael Myers and Freddy and Bro, like last this is just last season they had Nick Cage added to the line as, as a killer as a survivor. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's funny. So, like, look, man, that's pretty astounding. When you get like famous folks and a big IP like mm -hmm. Freddy Krueger and stuff like in the mm -hmm. game, like you made it. Like, like Freddy, like, Resident Evil is in the game. You can be Nemesis as a killer. Oh, that's um, cool. And like, I think uh, Chris Redfield is playable and Jill is available is playable. Like, so they've do they've been doing a lot of crossover work. It's gonna be hard to like kind of poach from that audience. I think when they're gonna make Sasuke a killer. I mean that would be great. That would you could be, be great. Naruto and like and Sasuke's a killer. It really makes me mad that the only game where I can play uh like Sasuke as a character are like either the Naruto games, Fortnite, or like uh like that uh anime fighter game. I'm surprised that you don't play Sasuke Fortnite. No man, I'm surprised not... that that didn't bring you in. It, you want to know my thing with Fortnite, Jonas? You want to know my real problem with Fortnite? I do. You want to know my real, real, real... Because you used real... to be a, a, a stand for Fortnite. What you need to understand is that when Fortnite was first announced, 
I was watching the E3 when it happened, Jonas. Yeah. All right. I remember. And I was like, wow, that game looks like fun. And then the game came out. I pre-ordered Fortnite. I remember. I pre-ordered. You were one of the ones where you got like free versions to give away to your friends. I was that. I was that. I was that guy. And I played that game, Jonas, and I loved it. And they f- and they iterated on it, and they fixed it. Do they even have a PVE anymore? It did not have a Battle Royale in it when it first released. The Battle Royale did not come out until, I want to say, like six, seven months into that game's release. And the Battle Royale was bare bones. It was stripped down, and everybody was like, I don't think this is going to work. But it blew up. It got yeah. famous. The ninja clip went viral. And me, as a PvE player versus world in in uh in uh Fortnite, I was like, they're gonna forget about us. They're gonna give up on this version because the other version's way Oh, it's like a microtransaction haven. And I had friends who I would play that mode with. We would all get together and we take on the hardest missions so we could get the best guns and like build up our, our home bases and I'd help my friends. I remember build watching stuff. you play that. I used to love that that aspect. It was like it was like Minecraft, but like with like better mechanics and more guns. And I know people are like don't talk bad, bad about Minecraft, <laughs> but it was it was it was a better builder than Minecraft, and it had better mechanics. I have to I have to say it. And then you look at the battle royale, and it and they did exactly that. They forgot about. Do they even have a? Um, it's still there. It, First, the world still exists, and they still iterate on that. And I, I'm sure that there's advancements in that that uh, that I'm not aware of. But I know they pale in comparison to what they've done for the other part. Sasuke, of Sasuke, though, you, and dude, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I'm not going back to Fort. I'm not going back to Fortnite. I'm not, dude. I'm not playing that game. Honestly, that that's one of those games where everybody's too good. I don't want to play it now. Well, it was actually when when they have the no build version, it's actually fun. Yeah, I agree. I played it with I played it without the builds, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, this is a lot better. It's a lot more mm-hmm. fun this way." Like, yeah. And honestly, it's like I used to be really good with the uh, with the battle royale and the flipping the the pieces and stuff because I was one of the originators of the game. I was there. I was a I had the founders edition, is what yeah, they yeah, call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the founders edition, so it was like. I was pretty good when the Battle Royale first came out, but once the Ninja Clip hit and people were like, oh, this is how fast you need to go to be good. Fam, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on trying to read. And it's like, I know I don't have to necessarily attain that level to be good at, at it, but I'm good. I'm good. I just yeah. want to play the other version, man. You got free credits in that version. I never paid for a Battle Pass. So what a... Uh... Yeah, you can. You don't pay for a battle pass in this one either if you play through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but anyways, something um, that Overwatch. So like learn Naruto, from. there is like fighting games for Naruto, which you said, which you, <laughs> which, you, which you said are trash. I'm not but playing but those. what's the other game you can play Naruto at? Play uh, as Jump Force is the only other game I can, that comes. The to hell my, is that? It's just like a. Uh, it's a fighting game. Um, oh, so it's all fighting games. It's well, no, it's just like a fighting game, but it has like a bunch of anime characters in it. It has like uh, Naruto Enterprise, and it has One Piece, and it has you know. Well, but there's also Naruto fighting games. Right? There are yeah, there's like but those are like I don't know, Why? like the Naruto Budokai. Are they bad? Uh, I don't know. Not my not my bad. Not you my don't want to be Sasuke. No, not the, that, the no. Marangon. There's a there's a thing with anime fighting games is that they they just kind of suck to me. And I know, Why is that? I don't know. They just, you like they're... Street Fighter? I don't know. And then, like, I go, I can go back to like I, I play like the uh, the Budokai series for like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball on on uh, Xbox, and I played like even going back to like the PlayStation. There was like a, a Dragon Ball video game for PlayStation that was super rare. And I remember it being like fifty dollars, and that was like a lot to me back then. And I remember finding the copy and owning it and playing, it, and I was like, yo, this is trash. Is this not good, man? Because they always want to make their characters fly. Because the anime characters always can fly, and they always want to incorporate it. And it looks like crap. It just doesn't fit well into fighting games, and it's always a fighting game too. Yeah, that's kind of crap. I don't know, man. Put my anime characters in like a good, like free roam game. Yeah, why don't they have an open world Naruto game? You yeah. go all the different villages and like do stuff, and you have to go fi- like you live the the storyline of Naruto. Yeah, with like some yaoi hentai. Undertones. I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> I just I don't I don't know what that means. But I, do. I don't think you want to. Don't don't Google that one. Whatever yeah, yeah. Do. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, yeah.